tribe, welcome to HD Designs Crochet HDDC. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about my crochet life. So I am a crochet designer, I live in Leicester in the United Kingdom and I have my own patterns and not only do I teach you how to make my patterns but I also teach others how to become a crochet designer as well. Now I have a sit down vlog to share with you today. I wanted to sit down and have a chat. Um, There's been quite a few changes and updates within HDDC and I wanted to just let you know what's going on and um, just to show my face because it's been a little while. So if you are returning, hey tribe what's good, what's happening, I hope that you're tickety boo, I hope that you've had some crochet time. And if you're brand new, then thank you so much for um, popping along. I hope that you want to stay and you hit subscribe. Um, right, let's get started, shall we? So, I am working on granny squares. Shock, I'm always working on granny squares. For a secret project. Um, I'm not going to share it with you until it is done and it's working. But I'm so, so excited about it that I just can't put down these granny squares. Um, I actually have like a whole bunch of yarn here because I got a granny square factory going so I do a production line I do all the centers and then I add the next round and then so on and so on these are just going to be um, three round granny squares but I'm going to join them all with the same color you'll probably be able to guess what color I'm going to join them with um, but we'll just leave it at that for now. So I'm just adding on the second round because I've got like 12 left and then this project can then be parked until my yarn delivery arrives. I ordered some yarn this morning from Lovecrafts. Um, I really needed the joining colour. I also needed a whole huge chunk of um, black because it's the colour that I wear and use the most and I've completely run out so um, for a few other patterns I've got in mind I really needed some black so I've basically just bought like an entire whoever picks it and packs it's going to be like well this person really likes black you know so <laughs> I'm working on these whilst I give you our little updates I hope that you've got a crochet project with you as well if you have and you're crocheting right now then please comment below and let me know what you're working on because I love to hear all about them um, and let's get started so if you have been here before then you will have noticed that in the last week or so I have uploaded a huge amount of vlogs all in one go and they've all got like a different front cover to what I usually post um, and that's because they were originally on a second channel that I had which was the HDDC hub and that was the channel that I set up for crochet designers um, I wanted to have a space where I could teach people and show you how I've become a crochet designer and help you do that yourself now I still want to do all of those things but I decided rather than having two channels to do it all under the same channel, this channel. So I uploaded the backlog of vlogs that I'd done for that channel and I put them all up. Um, I made that decision and I hadn't actually announced that I've done it so if it was a bit confusing that's why. It's probably um, also a further confusing because on each of those I was like hey designers welcome to the HDDC hub and it looked like I changed my channel. but. It's not, so now that I've explained that, I hope that makes sense. What I'm going to be doing going forward is I want to um, do those vlogs still for anyone that wants to become a crochet designer, but they're going to be on this channel. Um, I've made a lot of sort of... Oh no, am I missing a... No, oh, it's okay. I've made a lot of decisions and evolved the way HDDC is going forward. I wanted to streamline quite a few things um, and I, in the future I'm going to have like a big team that helps me to run social media and things like that but for now it's just me so I figured while it's just me I'm not going to try and like cut myself into pieces to show up in different areas, I'm just going to do it all on HGDC and so I also made a decision to do that with the HGDC Hub Instagram account as well. So when the workbook was launching, I set up a second account, so it was just purely about that. 
Um, and I'm really glad I did because it really got to, it really gave me a chance to post um, very focused posts for anybody that wants to become a designer. It um, allowed me to test out loads of different types of content and see what people were really looking for. Um, and so now that I feel like I've really got to grips with that, I want to continue posting about the hub, but again, it's going to be on the HGDC Instagram account. So um, I'm keeping the the second one anyway, but I'm just going to update the details so that it signposts whoever visits it to let them know that they're going, they can find all the information and whatever it is that they want on HGDC. Um, because the videos that I've put up all reference that Instagram account and things like that so I don't want it to just disappear and you never know in the future I might get that team quicker than you think um, and then they can really help me out but for now it's all just going to be in the one place um, I know that some people aren't interested they don't want to become a crochet designer um, and so they might not want to watch them but then I also know that some people don't envisage themselves being a designer but they watch them because they just enjoy um, the insights and learning and hearing different bits and pieces. So um, the option is there for you if you want to watch them. I mean, I'm going to say, please watch them. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically this is my May in review. So at the end of each month, I try to sit down and just talk to you about what I've been working on and what's been going on. and. I recorded March, the March review, but then I didn't post it to like April and then I didn't record one in April and then here we are in May and I was tempted to be like, oh, I'll just do it next month. But this year is just absolutely whizzing by and I really would like to um, take the time to record it just so you can see the changes that are being made and like how HDDC is evolving, but also because then it's really good for me to be able to look back on um, just to see how far I've come and how much I've done. So, yes. Um, where's the end on this yarn? Come on. Got it. So, in terms of projects, I, I feel like this last month not last month, definitely April and May, so the last couple of months since you last saw me, have been all about um, getting really clear on my processes, getting really clear on what it is that I want to spend my time doing, um, and that's really fed into Instagram and how much I want to post and how much I'm on there. Um, it's also fed into processes and systems that I've put in place for HDDC, um, so all sorts of bits and pieces have been going on in the background, but not so much something to share and show you. Um, but I have been doing a lot on my website. I actually moved provider from Squarespace to Shopify um, and got to grips with all of that. I've set up my emails so that you now will be receiving um, newsletters and emails and all those sorts of things. Um, and there's been stuff going on in the background getting um, my processes set up for testers and testing and so many things been going on that it's just been like less of the creativity and more of the business focus but I'm glad now because it means that I've got the summer ahead and all of those things are now in place so I might need to tweak them as I go along but the foundation is there so I can really, really focus on the creativity and the crochet. And that's the bit that I absolutely love. Like, don't get me wrong, I love business. I love, all of that is my jam. But these, these beauties is what I'm here for. Know what I'm saying? So, um, having streamlined everything and really got clear on what it is I want to do, the next thing I've been really focusing in on is the types of patterns and types of work that I want to put out um, and so I've actually been, oopsie, I've been through all of my um, Vogue magazines for the last like, for this year basically, five issues and um, I have, I used that colour didn't I, I used that colour, pink next, 
I have been going through and getting ideas and just, oh, just love it and thinking of like the collections I want to put together, what sort of patterns I really want to produce, um, different techniques that I want to try out, so really, really enjoying that. Um, I've been, I got some like new crochet books, I got one on crochet cables, don't know if I ever did show you that. Uh, but it's this one, 50 crochet cables. Some of them look so, so intense. Like I don't wanna show too much, but. <laughs> so I've got things like that that I really want to learn and get to grips with. Um, the other thing that I did was I rearranged my yarn room. So normally you see me from this angle because my desk was along this wall. But I actually moved it so it's now directly under the window and I've got an absolutely beautiful view of like the roof lines and um, sky and trees and it's just lovely when I walk in here and I just see oh I just love it I'm so very very grateful for this space and that this is my job and that I get to do this um, it's just absolutely wonderful I've also, in terms of like things in the background, I've been um, busily writing up patterns. So I've been telling my tribe stars, that's anybody that's subscribed to my Patreon, that it's really been bugging me that I've got such a backlog of patterns and that I just want to get them out. So I've just been picking one and then I've been putting in a couple of hours every day just to get them written up so that they can then be sent off to be tech edited. Um, I've got about 10 or so patterns some of the patterns that i've made my designs i'm not actually that keen on them anymore i think that's because my style is changing and evolving as i'm changing and evolving um but there is a whole pile there that i do really want to get just done and out so i'm really focusing in on that at the moment so again there's been lots of like writing up patterns not stuff necessarily that I can show you right now um, it just means that there is like a wave of patterns coming for you in the future which is really good um, and then really get into grips with some of them I've picked up and I've realised I didn't put it out because I wanted to make changes so I've been working on that and just it's quite designing is very much um, trial and error because in your head it might look good and then you make it and then either it's not functional or you realise you could improve it so definitely been doing a lot of that recently um, and then the other thing I've been doing is trying to spend quite a bit of time in my garden I just love my garden um, but the weather's been so miserable in the UK so I don't really feel like we've got like any 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 uh, what's the word I don't feel like we've had summer basically and just can the rain stop now please <laughs> um so when I was rearranging I also went through my yarn had a good look at what it is that I've got there what projects I've got in mind what it is that um I want to get more of or order so that I can get patterns completed so I did post I did post I did place a big yarn order this morning can't wait for that to arrive so I can get a couple more patterns finished up um, and then just trying to clear the way really so that a lot of this stuff is done and then I can really go on to new stuff that I've got in mind. I can't wait to share them all with you. So yeah I feel like this vlog is basically just here to give you an update as to what's been going on where I am so that then I can come back with all the good stuff next month and be like, bam, done this, bam, look at this pattern, bam, this is done and ready. Um, and I am, I'm just here for it. I can't wait to be able to do that. A few other things I've been doing is um, I have, I took part in the Bird Street Yarn, Mr. B and Bird Street Yarn um, flock night, which they did on Zoom due to the pandemic. And so that meant that I got to be involved because they are much further south than what I am in the UK. 
and they were absolutely lovely group and it was it was really good fun um so i got to speak to lots of people i think majority were knitters but um everyone was just really welcoming really lovely so i did that that was really cool and then the other thing is i have featured on a podcast it's called the making stories podcast um it should be out by the time that you see this but it's not actually been released yet at the time of me recording so that was cool to do a little question and answer a little interview so go and check that out um and then there's also like loads of other episodes on there with other people so that's really cool as well um it's weird because i feel like hddc is like becoming a, a known brand and that's what i'm aiming for obviously but then it's also really odd when people ask me to do these things and then like i was getting messages from the flock group saying like can't wait to meet you and i was like oh this is so cool i found my people all these people that love yarn um it is a really odd like feeling that like some people view me as almost like a celebrity when i'm i'm just me i'm just me so yeah uh featured on a couple of podcasts and once if um when i edit this if i can then i will put the thumbnail up of the making stories one but i'm not sure that it'll be out in time for when i'm editing so there's that because i rearranged my yarn room i've actually recorded a vlog as well um like a yarn room tour to share with you i wanted you to be able to see what it looks like um I absolutely love and adore this space so it was a, a great pleasure to be able to record that and share that with you so keep your eye out for that because um, I don't know about you but I love looking at like people's stash and um, just just like I know it just seems really every day but not everybody gets to work in this space every day like I do so I wanted to share that with you. Now because of all the behind the scenes and the stuff that I've been working on, I don't have any completed projects to show you yet, nor do I have any whips that I want to share at this exact moment because I want you to have the wow factor of when they're done. Um, but, but, there's quite a few patterns on here. Can't wait to share them with you. One of the frustrating things about this last month has been that one of the whips that I poured a lot of my time and energy into just it just didn't work out um and so I'm going to completely remake it in totally different colors different formats a lot but all of this work went into it all of these granny squares and it just it's just not right it's not my vibe it doesn't look right and so that completely needs frogging <laughs> and I don't even want to share what it was because it just was like a great big no from me so that's annoying because had that have worked out I basically would have had a finished pattern to show you but as it is now you've basically just seen a pile of the yarn and you're like well what is it I can't tell you because it just it didn't work but I'm gonna go at it again version two and hopefully that's going to be the good stuff. <laughs> oh dear. But what I can share is that all these granny squares that I'm making is because I am reworking a project that you saw, that you saw, that you've seen a long time ago that I have committed to getting done and published. So I've made quite a huge amount of these <laughs> I could keep going I need 40 in total Oops. oh no so what I do is I make the centers and then I add on the next round, all in one go, like a, a process. <laughs> so 
So I made all of these plus more. Keep on going. Oh, and as I said, they are for a previous pattern that you've seen that I want to um, improve and finalize so that it can be released. It's definitely one of the things that I find um, hardest about being a designer is you can put a lot of time and effort in and it might not necessarily come out the way you imagined. Um, it might not function the way you want it to or it might not look right and that then means that you undo days if not weeks worth of work. In terms of that pearl that I showed you, that's like a good couple of weeks worth of work that is this, yeah. But I feel like um, I just, but I'm at a point where I just want to get them done. I don't want to keep just shelving them because it didn't work out. I want to go at it again and do them and give them, make them, what's the word? Do justice, give them, I just want them to come out the way that I did intend. So I have actually ordered some more yarn so that a few of the designs up there, there's, there's one, two, three, four, that either need a bit more yarn or I want to change the colors so that I can remake a sample and then they will then be ready to be released. So it feels good to just go back and sort those out. Um, and going forward, I'm just gonna have to roll with it. If I make something and it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna have to give it the time there and then to redo it. It is frustrating though, I'm sure, like some of you have made patterns. When you're following a pattern, you get it wrong and you think, that's it, you're going in time out, I'm gonna make something else. <laughs> As well, another thing behind the scenes going on. Um, Instagram reached 5,000 followers. Amazing, can't thank you all enough. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Me that started that account back in 2016, um, I started it as just somewhere I could post what I was working on. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that it would be, become my full-time job. And then to see it growing and how many people love the granny square is truly magical. Um, and I have realised it's not about the numbers, it's not about how many of us are there. But also I do want to celebrate that HDDC is growing in that way. It's just magical. So thank you so, so much for following on Instagram. Um, and for all your comments and your likes and everyone that slides into my DMs to cheer me up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then YouTube also reached a milestone, which is 3,000 subscribers. So there's 3,000 of you here now, which, that's crazy. Like I know, like, I don't know why, but we always attach a lot of importance to 10,000. It's a big number. But if you think about putting 3,000 people in a room, that's huge. So yeah, thank you so, so much for subscribing, for being here for the channel, for being here for HDDC. Um, and just, wow, I love it. I'm really, 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 really happy with that. So yeah. All right, I've got these two left to do. And I'm gonna eat, edit, social media done. Really hungry.